Eric DIY here with another great review for you. Tonight we're reviewing the Anukode 2.4 GHz mini wireless keyboard with touchpad and mouse combo. Mostly bought and used this Anukode 2.4 GHz mini wireless to work with my Android box right here, which is connected to my main TV. Just a little USB dongle goes right in the back of the unit right here, just a USB port. And it's instantly recognized by Android. The unit itself, you turn it on in the back here, but as you can see, it has some pretty stylish lighting. You could change that lighting over here if you push the function button, the FN button, with any of these on or off lighting. You could do white. You could also do red, green, blue, which will change. And you could also turn off the lighting or dim it or enhance it as much as you want. Again, that's with the function button and all these things. The keys themselves are rubberized. They feel great. It is small and compact though, so to get your fingers on there, it takes some getting used to. You have your left and right mouse clicks right here in the middle, and you have a main trackpad right here. While it's booting up, I also want to share that it has a sensitivity adjustment here, function with DPI, dots per inch. So you can have different resolutions of mouse usage on the new Kodi wireless keyboard here and it's easier to use with this android box than the actual remote that came with it because i'll have full functionality instead of this arrow button stuff and trying to get in the right place uh, full functionality to type if you're web browsing and to use a mouse on screen as you can see the mouse cursor moves with my finger on the touchpad it is pretty sensitive and you can adjust the dpi here see that flash just to let you know and it feels really good. It's really, really easy to use. Uh, I usually watch, you know, some TV on this. Uh, we have HBO Go, stuff like that. It has all the shortcuts you could want too. This home button goes to the home screen, the Android box. You have email if you set that up. Again, that won't work with this Android box, but on the computer it would. You have multimedia playback buttons, pause and play, back and forth. Volume, which does work on the Android box, is right here. You can also mute with one button, so that does an excellent job. And again, it has everything you could possibly need. It even has a control alternate delete. If you do FN, control alternate delete on the Android box, that actually reboots the box. So it's kind of like a computer, but it reboots the whole entire box. I use it for Chrome and web browsing on my TV. So we start Chrome. So I have it loading Yahoo right now. And just to show you that, you can highlight that box with the a new Cody mouse right here and you type whatever you want. So let's say I want to go to Google. I'm gonna type in google.com. Really easy to use. You can see it's totally accurate. I push enter and it goes to where I want it to go. Excellent feature of the keyboard. You can type whatever you want. It does an excellent job with the Android box. It also does an excellent job with the computer. I have hooked it up to my laptop. So if you're looking for a mouse that works and that's durable, because I've actually had Zach bounce this around just a little bit while using with the Android box, then the new Kodi mouse could be for you. As far as watching some online TV, I have the Tubi app right here. Get on left click to open it. And this mouse does fantastic with this. Again, the remote that came with the Android box, it'd be very hard to navigate all this and that. But with this one, you can select any movie you want by moving the touchpad, pushing the left mouse button, or clicking on it once. And this would be Good Burger. So let's watch the trailer. Very easy to use. Again, web browsing, all that. But it does a very, very nice job. And again, if I ever want to go back to the main Android menu, I push the home button. If I just want to go back in the app, I push escape. So everything here is readily available to make this fully functional on the Android box. Overall, the a new Kodi mouse is excellent, especially for a multimedia PC or even an Android box connected to a TV. It does an excellent job. It's very compact, very easy to use, and has all the functions you possibly need. The only cons that I would say is that the mouse buttons are a little awkward to use down here, but they are definitely usable. It'd be nice if they could fit them in somehow differently, maybe on the sides here, 
but it's not a big big con at all everything else is here the buttons are small meant to be compact so that's why the buttons are so small and it does an excellent job especially with the adjustable dpi and you can have fancy lighting settings on this so it does an excellent job if you'd like to purchase your a new cody 2.4 gigahertz wireless mouse Please look for a link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon. You can purchase your very own. Every single purchase will help support the Eric DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate all the support. Thank you and have a great night. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.